In today's lunch break, we're getting a sneak peek into the New Year's Eve menu at Vincent Restaurant. Chef Luke Aronson joins us with their featured dish. It's an oxtail bourguignon, and it smells spectacular. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> it's sort of labor intensive in the sense that it's a long process. It is, yeah. So you're going to start off with, you know, your nice vegetables, bacon, getting a nice sear on your vegetable or and your oxtails as well. But here it's a stew. You can use any protein you want. So as long as you get the nice sear and the color, that's going to be the base. And then, yeah, like you said, it's a longer process. So obviously we can't be here for four hours today yeah. to make a stew. But I but did you're bring not it. working the whole time. No, you're you know, not. And that's it's the a lot great of, thing. Yeah. But your house is smelling delicious does, while yeah. you're doing this. Exactly. Yeah. So before we get further into the recipe, I just want to give you some props because I know you're one of the youngest chefs in yeah. this city <laughs> and, and really fastest growing. But you worked your way up in this I did, restaurant, yeah. and now take the helm and really owning it. I mean, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> It's been nice. I mean, I have not worked in a restaurant before starting here and getting to, you know, learn my way around the kitchen. And like you said, it is, I was more focused on projects before where it's like, you know, at your house, making things smell nice. So it's nice to translate that into the restaurant setting where you're feeding more people and you're yes. doing things on a larger scale. And we're the recipients of that yes. goodness. <laughs> so I love it. Um, all right, well, let's get further. So yeah. you, um, you take the meat first, yeah, right? Yeah, so you start off with searing some bacon, some onions, you know, all those nice flavors. Take that out of the pan and then you have your oxtail here. You can use any protein. Sear that off, get a nice color, and then you're going to add your wine. Here, it's a beef bourguignon, so you're going to use a burgundy wine, mm -hmm. something nice and red, full-bodied. And then we also have some nice beef stock here. So when you add that all, it simmers there. You create a really nice flavorful broth. The meat becomes really nice and tender, as you can see. How long are you cooking down the wine before you maybe lower the heat? Yeah, you kind of boil it out until almost it's dry. So it's okay. like you let it reduce fully. It's about equal parts wine and broth. So once you have that alcohol taste kind of cooked out, sure. then you're going to add the broth and that'll, you know, go for a lot longer. And you can see here how tender the meat is. How gets. long until it gets to be that tender? Yeah, it right? just falls off that bone. Just about like three hours this okay. one took. And I think it helps a lot too to have it sit overnight and let those juices reintroduce back into the meat. Oh. And then when you reheat it, like we're doing here, you kind of get the flavors fully throughout the meat. If you're sitting really it nice. overnight, you refrigerate it then? And yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the, you'll kind of see if you have a really nice stock that it'll kind of gel up from all that collagen and the bones mm -hmm. and the marrow that you see in the middle here. Oh, yeah. But yeah, for New Year's, we're going to toss it with pappardelle and top it with some Parmesan. And yeah. Oh, isn't that nice? This will be one of the options for the entree. Right, so you've got a prefix menu we do, yes. for uh, New Year's Eve. Yes. We're featuring some oxtail, like I said. We're going to do a lobster en croute. It's almost like a bouillabaisse inspired. Uh, pot pie of sorts. Oh, yeah. So it'll that have like a nice really crust, neat. but with some seafood, a little creamier. And, and then, you still have some reservations available. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. Okay. For the late night seating, we're selling out really fast. I think that one is almost booked, but yeah. So you have two, you're doing two seatings. I, I seatings, love the yeah. feeling in there. It's super warm. It is, and for yeah. the holidays, you know, really feels festive. It does. It's got a nice, like, dark lighting. We've also just started doing this late night lounge. So we have. I was you know, reading really about cool, that. Yeah. Because you have entertainment on we do, yeah. the weekends. We do. The weekends, we have it on Fridays. Sometimes we do like a Broadway brunch. Um, but yeah, there's lots of lots of cool things going on there. And it's nice to have all the different environments. Yeah, but now the night. lounge. Yeah. What is that all about? Yeah, this is more of like a Vincent after hours. It does have like, you know, the nice bar, darker lighting. So it's almost like a speakeasy of sorts. Oh, fun. Yeah, which is cool. You can top it off with some of this nice sauce as well. Sure. Some of that reduction. So do you have a separate room for that or you're transforming the space? That's what's cool is that you get to watch the transition at the end of the night ah. if you know it turned from restaurant with the late night diners to more of like a laid back, you know, yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. Right. Change the seating and everything. Exactly. Yeah. We change the lights, they go down, we put on the, like starry projectors for Vincent Van Gogh, Starry Night. Oh yes, yeah, Starry yeah. Night. <laughs> yeah, we just top it off with some Parmesan. Oh look at that. Super nice. Beautiful, hearty, satisfying. Yeah. Filling, nice for the winter. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you don't have any uh, real celebration plans for New Year's. You're no, going to be working be, your tail yes, off. I will be. I'll be at Vincent for a while now. 
Yes. So come keep him company, make a reservation, <laughs> Please, yeah. have a delicious meal. Congratulations on everything. Thank you, yeah. And thanks for this. And I know you gave us really the step by step because we kind of went through it a little quickly here yeah. today. Um, but we have the step by step uh, directions if you want to make this, the recipe. Tickets for that New Year's Eve prefix menu, by the way, are online. You can visit vincentchicago.com if you want more information for that. And then we'll post the recipe. You can make this anytime in the winter. It's really just a beautiful, wonderfully smelling hearty meal. WGNTV.com slash midday is where we'll have the recipe and we'll have a link to get those New Year's Eve tickets. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yeah.